Illustrating Pippi Goes Abroad is a very different challenge from illustrating a picture book where the words and pictures tend to have sort of equal um, importance in telling the story. When illustrating a chapter book, I'm having to select um, perhaps the essence of the words and so inevitably I'm leaving out more than I could ever include. Each chapter reads a bit like its own short story, its own episode and yet yeah, they do all join up to make a whole. So I'm trying when I illustrate to give them their own particular identity but making sure that they fit together nicely and work as one piece. It's unusual in its storytelling. It's something I really like about it because towards the end the pacing changes and the last three chapters are much more linked and this coincides with Pippi's father arriving and Pippi suddenly deciding that she's going to leave and go off with him to sail around the world. Pippi's very excited about this but for the children this is a great sadness. So it ends with this picture of the children unable to sleep, lying in the dark and there's no text. So that when you get the page turn and then you see a very excited Pippi preparing for her celebratory goodbye party, there's a real contrast between how Pippi's feeling about everything and how Annika and Tommy are feeling. And Astrid Lindgren describes this sort of mismatch between the two experiences perfectly and you have Pippi standing there excited greeting the children and Annika just staring at her trying to commit her face to memory because she knows she won't see her again. So it seemed important to have Pippi's face take up two whole pages to sort of reflect the concentration um, of Annika really staring into her face trying to remember her forever. And what follows are descriptions of the music and the games and all the guests having great fun. Although I decided not to illustrate any of the guests and to instead concentrate on Pippi as if they're all watching her in that way that you sometimes do when you're looking at something that you're about to lose. So although it's very joyful and everything that's happening is great fun, there's also a sadness to it. The only other character I chose to illustrate in this chapter is Pippi's father and that's because he's the reason for her leaving and he's a character with a huge personality and he's a huge man and so you see I've drawn him across a double page and you have to turn the book to view him the right way up as if he's too big to even fit in the story. So this chapter is really here to show Pippi's exuberant personality and remind you of what you're going to miss. It's a contrast to the next chapter where she learns of the children's sorrow and she suddenly has to make a decision about what she's going to do and that's where you get this beautiful resolution at the end of the book.